In this video, we'll be covering how to create a component library. Now let me first explain why you would even need to use one. One of the best examples I could give you is the printing press. Before it, people had to write the same text over and over again. But then a smart man named Johannes Gutenberg decided to create the letters in forward and then just reuse them. Now imagine you had a task to create a button with certain dimensions, colors, fonts and you would create one, no problem. Then after a few hours I would give you the same task and you would create another one. You can already see where I'm going with this. This is time consuming and let's be honest you don't want to do that. The biggest problem with this copy paste approach is if I asked you to change the color of all buttons would have to go one by one and change them. What we will do instead is make a blueprint with all the characteristics already predefined and use them. We can use it for one app or we can use it for multiple apps. And that's basically it. Our goal is to develop efficient and with quality. Now let me show you how to create one. First of all, we need to create a directory where we will store all our future components. Let's make our first category buttons. After that, we need to create a QML directory file that basically gives us the information about the module and its contents. Open the file with Notepad or any text editor and give the module a name, in my case buttons. Enter the components you wish to include in your library. Note that I am entering a version also, which can be very useful in the future when we are updating our components. I will create our custom button and add an underscore 01 so we know which version it belongs to. After opening the QML file directly, you can start editing, but a better way would be to open it through a project so we have autofill. Let's create a project where we can include our library and test out the components. In order for our project to find the library, we need to provide a path to it. The PWD is just a macro for the root directory path of the project. In case you put in a wrong path to the module, it will not be found right away and you will get this warning. So let's just fix this real quick. And now it works. Our component is auto filled right away and we can enter and edit it. I know that this has been short and with not much information, but don't worry. Before we start creating components, I would like to include a beneficial tool and that's the QML Live Loader. If you're interested in that, please watch my next video.